Hi, I'm the Gadget Guru Andy Power. I'm still here at Enerdrone, and now I'm in the DJI booth. In a moment, we're going to talk to this guy over here. Randy Braun, the Director of Product Experience for DJI, and that's coming up next, right here on Videos by Andy. I'm here with Randy Braun, who's the Director of Product Experience for DJI. Now, last night, you had a big night. You made some announcements having to do with the Inspire. What's new? We have the new X5 camera series. We have the X5 and the X5 RAW. The X5 is a micro four thirds camera, which is a huge step up in sensor size for a smaller uh, multi-rotor drone. Mm -hmm. uh, the X5 here um, is going to be released, or actually is going to be shipping by the end of September. Okay. Uh, this is a step up for serious professional photographers. The second camera, the X5 RAW, is meant to shoot raw, micro four thirds size video. Every single frame of the video is 16 megapixels. Really a first time for anything aerial. You're gonna need some pretty good computing power to yeah, edit yeah, that down. Yeah, my gonna smoke. So, so, so let's point fire this fire. out. If you're looking at it just getting bigger and better, as you know from being on the product experience right. side, you need to make sure that when you start stepping into 4K, that you have the computer power and the skills to edit. This is not like an iMovie thing. Yeah. Right. We, we have our own uh, editing software now that's being yeah. released uh, specifically to process the raw video. If you know, if you're familiar with raw uh, photography, raw file photography, it should be processed. When it comes out of the camera, it's flat, it looks soft. I shot with the raw for one day and you look at it and it's, it's unfinished, but it has all that data. With the raw video, the X5 raw video, um, you're capturing really an unprocessed, super high quality video because the sensor size is approximately what, four sizes larger than uh, So it's not like camera. using a Panasonic GH4, but it's not quite. stepping up there. Right, and, and the fact is that this is basically a, a lens with a sensor. Uh, we're, we're learning how to move most of the, the other parts of the camera up a little higher into uh, up, uh, the body up here. So we're making our cameras now very uh, lightweight so that the gimbal technology is able to move them around, keep everything smooth in real time, these brushless gimbals. Okay, let's look at the Inspire lineup now. I mean, you started with the Inspire 1. Okay, yes. That's an HD, you know, setup, yes. correct? What are you calling this model here? We are um, not allowed to say anything quite yet because we're not quite there. This was just announced last night. Yeah, dude, we, we know this so is we know. new. Yeah. And, so, and so I'm not going to name any pricing or anything no, right understood. now. No, understood, but is this the Inspire 2? No, it's, no, it's okay. not the Inspire 2. So we don't know the pricing. We know that this is going to ship. Right now we're... Um, with the date right now, is set, it's 9-11. You know, sorry to say that, but yeah. it's 9-11. Uh, you said by the end of the month, so in the next so two to soon, three weeks. So, so soon we're going to so start we'll shipping. Okay. The specifics have not been given to me yet. And, and that's understandable. Nor for the those, spec sheets. So. Yeah, you know, for those who haven't been to trade shows, like, this right. is where you show things for the first right. time, not necessarily right. of all the information. Right, we thought now, it was a good place to show a new product or two, and uh, this one is ready to, the, especially the the X5 regular, um, is, is about ready to ship, and so it was a great time to release it here. Now, we know that the Inspire series was not considered an entry-level copter. You could go with the Phantom or other brands with right. that. Actually, like here, for example, here's, Phantom here's the Phantom. Three. It's real similar to the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, but you've stepped it up. Oh, it's a huge step up from the Phantom 2. This okay. was a major redoing, rebuilding of the entire uh, Phantom mm -hmm. line. Um, the fan, uh, from scratch, basically. You still have that ubiquitous, iconic quadcopter well, white shell. the 2 Vision shell. Plus, the camera is similar. It's a little bit larger. You have 4K on here versus With a HD. rectilinear lens, so you don't have that fisheye effect anymore. Isn't that nice? Isn't, Isn't that, that great? We also have a visual positioning system, which mm -hmm. has a sonar and an optical flow camera. And that, and that allows you so you can go fly indoors. indoors with yeah. no GPS. Outdoors, you have uh, GLONASS and GPS satellite enablement, so that you're picking up, instead of about 12 satellites with the Phantom, 
two, you're going to pick up 18 to 21 satellites. Out okay, so we go from the Phantom series. Now we get into the Inspire. You, you step up into Inspire it. is sort of our Rolls Royce or our, I'm sorry, I would call it the Harley Davidson. Okay, well, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's a fancy. hot rod. It's, it's a hot rod. It's fast, now, it's sleek. Comparing the buyers between an Inspire one and this new model, if you were coming from uh, a Phantom and you wanted to step up, how do you determine which model is for you if you want to go with the Inspire? I think that people who are not quite sure about the power of raw video shouldn't even consider it um, because it's an investment and it's a huge step up. You're going to need computer processing power. Uh, it's the, the X5 RAW is writing to a solid state card that you insert, a 512 gigabyte solid oh, state card. Oh, so you're not card. writing to an SD card on No. Oh, it's okay. It's way too much data now. Where does that now card is, insert? In, now, into the camera it or will, in the bird? It will insert, we don't, we have the other model right here in front of us, but it inserts right into the platform up okay. above. So, it's, so right around this area. Yes. It's going to come in We're, here. So these the, are prototypes. The card's too. approximately two inches by one inch. So this is like an solid, SSD. It's an SSD. Okay, I got you um, there. So that holds a lot of data and it writes that data extremely fast because you're capturing, you're capturing again, 30, a lot of data. 16 mega, 16 meg files per second and it has to record somewhere. So you take that card out, mm -hmm. then you can write that to your computer, plug in a cable, put it into your computer. And then you're gonna have another camera that's gonna follow this that you announced last night that is... We're gonna have hopefully several items that will fit into this port in the Inspire and uh, the M, the Matrix 100. Mm -hmm. um, now will this new camera, is it backwards compatible to the Inspire 1? Oh, this amounting the same, yeah. or it's at a yes. completely well, different rebuild. Well, there, there is um, an attachment here to make sure that this heavier camera does not vibrate. And so there's this wider uh, bracket that you can screw in. Uh, you can mount that yourself. Okay. Well, we don't know the prices. We know don't that know you've done price. extremely well with this. And the beauty of this camera is that you can open it up to f 1.7 mm -hmm. and achieve that beautiful bokeh effect where it's very cinematic where you have one foreground in focus and the background you can, you can, yeah exactly okay. beautiful soft background now in fact, we have a follow focus device here where you you can have three operators on this now it's the follow big. focus you tap on the screen that's and one then, method mm -hmm. and then what we other also, methods do you we have? also have i'm just going to grab this from okay. your vest and now, what is this? This is my first device. time seeing this. Okay. Um, so hey, let's third, show it to the camera. A third here. operator can actually really con control the focus very precisely with this camera. Say you're in a very shallow depth of field. Um, it takes a third person's eye to, to do all this. The camera op the drone operator should be just flying the drone. The camera operator can, can it also control, control the, the pitch tilt? and the yaw okay. and all that. A third operator, if you're working oh. professionally, okay in Hollywood, for whatever, commercial purposes, a uh, third operator is just focusing only. Okay, so let me sure get this clear. Single operator, you have one controller. Single operator. The, the, the pilot is flying. Mostly this. still photography. And you, you can still do your, your toe. I, I was a single operator uh, shooting video just last week, testing the um, X5 RAW, and uh, it's difficult with a single operator. It is. Now, but if you, for a dual operator, one person, Flying. I would the other much person rather be the, the camera, guy flying but, or operating the camera. But now with the both. third operator, you're getting detailed then, focus. Then you're talking about feature Hollywood film You're doing quality. tracking focuses, right. you're right. doing right. car shots, that right. type of thing. Now, right. I mean, I'd be remiss. I know product ex experience is your expertise here. DJI has done a lot of things right over the past few years, but it seems that people still are not getting their questions answered. Tech support, it's a trying experience. What's DJI doing to really enhance the we've tech opened, support and customer service? We've opened up a new service center in Carson, California, mm -hmm. about the size of a Costco warehouse now. Really? It's, it's also a distribution center. Uh, we are re recreating the entire flow of our customer service, uh, which was necessary. So this is we a top grew, priority for yes, DJI? Yes, it is. We grew very quickly from 20 employees in 2006 to 4,300 employees today. Wow. So, and 
So at this point, uh, we sold so many, so many, so many Phantoms and Spires that uh, the service in was lagging behind. Okay. Now we're playing catch up and we are catching up. We actually brought some of our uh, service people from China because the China office was very caught up with all their service. We, we flew them over so you're, here, you're bringing so we brought them over. So you're going to get hey, service in your native language. Well. That's not necessarily the objective, yeah. uh, but our service center here is here in the United States, and so uh, if you have a service issue, yeah, definitely it's going to okay. stay here. Okay. And um, in fact, right behind us we have Ed here, who is one of our top service people, and uh, so we're, we're, he's very confident and we're getting the job caught up. We did have. Uh, it was about five week turnaround for mm -hmm. service. Now it's down, actually this week, I think it's down to about seven days. Now, I did a video just a few days ago okay. here in Las Vegas. One of DJ's larger national dealers, they, are, they offer tech support, yeah. they do service on the Phantoms, but they don't yet provide it on the Inspire. Is that starting to filter down to the dealer level I yet? we prefer to work on our own Inspires. Okay. That's what I understand. We know there's service. a lot going on There's in a here. lot going on in there. We feel like we know uh, best how to fix them at this point. Well. They're actually difficult to crash them into anything unless you run them into a tree manually. And by the way, obstacle avoidance is starting to be spoken of. Yeah, we have a guidance system now that we're adding to some of our drones. Uh, it's called guidance. Uh, you can you can set it. It will it will see a wall about 36 feet away, and so you can set that distance for it to stop once it uh, sees a solid block in front of it. Is that just in beta testing now, or is no, that an available product? Product. It's over there on a drone on so, the other table. I mean, I saw this on Curtis Start's uh, 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 yeah. uh, Facebook no, it's, page, and Lynn Fan is yep. starting to test them. It looks like that's the way you're going. Yep. Again, Randy, I know you're busy. The show, this is the last day everybody wants to last go. Last day, last couple hours, I uh, think. Thank, thank you, Andy. so much for I appreciate your time. it. For videos nice by time. Andy.com, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr, and I'll see you online and in the air. Boy, this thing's heavy. Uh,